What's up? So this is the second part of my Trello digital planning series. If you haven't seen the first episode, I highly recommend you start from there. I will link it somewhere up here. And if you just are coming from the part one, then welcome back. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Anna. I do videos about planning and life organization. So if that interests you, consider subscribing and hit the bell if you'd like and let's just jump right into it now we're just gonna continue on where we left off so so in this video i'm going to show you how to set up your trello planner and you can do the same routine every week and i'm also going to show you how i use this trello planner first thing i'm going to do is add things that i do frequently tasks that I do frequently in the constant to do's list um, and they're organized in different categories and this is because uh, it's a good reminder of what tasks you could do every week things like chores or errands can be in that list so you don't really forget anything and then I'm going to do a brain dump so there's so many different places you can get your brain dump ideas mainly your notes scattered around I have a video that I will link on the top as a card and uh, that will explain exactly how you can do a brain dump and where you can find your tasks but here I'm just looking at all my different notes and taking tasks from my head and I'm just writing them all down in the someday list. I consider the someday list as a brain dump. So this is where I just categorize everything. So I've written everything down and now I'm going to put labels on them. My labels organize my tasks by importance and urgency as well as the amount of time it takes to do those tasks. I will put my time frames on the, on the screen. And now I'm going to organize all of the tasks onto my upcoming week, as well as whatever tasks need to be done either this month, next month, and if it's further away than next month, then I leave it in the Sunday list. And also while I'm organizing my tasks, I just have random tasks coming into my mind that I need to do for the specific day. I'll just write it down. And then I'm going to add my morning routine and night routine templates. I'm just gonna copy them from my template list to my weekdays. These are ready-made lists that have all, all the little tasks that I need to do for the morning or the night. And this just saves you so much more time instead of having to create the list from scratch for every single weekday. So you can make templates for anything, just anything that's some sort of routine uh, I would do a template for. Not only morning routines but weekly, monthly reviews as well. And then I'm gonna add a few things to my wish list because we are setting up this planner for the first time but you can also always add different tasks when they come into your mind you can just always add tasks to your trello board and since we're setting this up i'm gonna add my goals for the year but usually you should do this as soon as possible then i'm going to break those bigger yearly goals into smaller goals by seeing what I can do the next what I can do next month to get closer to those goals and then breaking them down even more by making them into weekly goals or adding any other sort of weekly goal that I want to. Now as you can see my done list is more transparent it's because of the Trello list highlighter chrome extension that I have and 
I moved this done list right before the day that is today. So for example, if today was Monday, it's going to be right in front of Monday. And the Monday title will have hashtag today next to it. And that will color the card into a beige pink. So it's more noticeable. And that is also because of my Trello list highlighter. So the way I do it is I do my morning routine. I check everything off and I put it in my done list. And as you can see, because of my Chrome, the Chrome extension, that I have. The done list makes those cards black and white and it crosses them off as well. And let's say you couldn't do a task that day or didn't do a task that day. I am just going to move it on to the next day and then I'm going to move the done list before Tuesday because Tuesday is going to be the next day. And then I'm also adding a line and this line is possible also because of my Google Chrome extension that I have for Trello. And this line basically separates the done list for each day. And I'm I'm just doing the same thing I'm whatever task I'm finishing I'm putting it in the done list and then so on and so on and at the end of the week as you can see there's three dots on the very top of the done list you just click that and at the end of the week you just archive all of the cards in the list so it will be completely empty each week so you can start fresh when you're doing this routine next week then the cards in the next week list can be moved on the weekdays then the cards in this month can be moved to next week and when you're on new month you can move the cards from the next month to this month and some someday can go to next month and it's all a system and that is basically how i use my tre trello planner and how i set it up every week now and that wraps up my trello digital planning two-part series i'm probably gonna make more videos about Trello in the future so don't worry this is not the last video forever but please let me know if you enjoyed this if you're interested in more content about Trello and planning in Trello I would love to do it if you're interested and if you enjoyed this video give it a like share and subscribe and I will see you next time ciao